This is your demo under 20, how to paint grout using acrylic paints. And what we're gonna start with here is an example of a student's work. This is Julie Williams, and this comes from the course Perspective in Stained Glass Mosaic with Darcel Denou. And what Julie did is she made this gorgeous piece with a beautiful structure house here. And as you can see, it's got perspective. There's stuff in the front. The house looks, you know, proportionally correct. She did all the right things as far as how to make it, but she wasn't super happy with how all the grouting went. And so in the parts that she wanted some darker grout, she was able to add it after she grouted it with paint. So here is the original color of the grout, which is a little bit lighter off white here, but she wanted to darken up some of it. And instead of trying to re-grout the piece or remake the piece for that matter, she are able to take acrylic paint and use it on parts of your mosaic that you want to have darker grout. Now there's a couple of things to consider when doing this. One, you only want to do this for interior pieces because exterior, if it hits the sun, there's a really good chance your grout is going to fade with the paint on it. Second, you can only use this for a uh, cementitious grout that has not been sealed. If you're using epoxy grout or you have sealed your grout, it won't work because it needs the porosity for the paint to go into the grout. So as you can see here, it's a lot darker of her grout choices or color choices because it's with paint now here and here all over the house and these flowers here in the front, the rocks here. And then the rest she left light. So that just gives it a little more depth, a little more dimension, and it makes it look a little less fractured for the house and these darker uh, rocks back here. So I think it was a great choice that she made to do the painting. And in the next couple sections, I'm gonna show you how to do that with multiple colors on a basic, just colorful abstract mosaic. So stay with me. All right, so in this section, let's talk about painting grout. And what I have here is a very basic, colorful, abstract mosaic, stained glass. And that's one of the better uh, tessera that this works with as well, because it's very easy to wipe off after you've done your painting. And uh, the benefits of this is that you can use multiple colors. Maybe you want to have a little red up here, a little green over here. You can really start to get artistic when you start using these. And like I said in the last section, you want to make sure you only do this for interior pieces because exterior, there's a very good chance it could fade from the sun. If this is something also that if you're not using pigmented grouts or you thought about it afterwards, it's, it's, a, it's another hack basically that we can use in our mosaic arsenal, but other people do like Yulia Hanansen, tint the grout and do multiple colors of grouting that way. This is just another way to do it. And um, like I said, I really recommend it only for interior pieces. The cementitious grout that's been tinted with our pigment uh, tints that you can get from Mosaic Arts Online or other cementitious tints, those can be used in exterior. They are designed with a higher UV rating to be outside um, once you've grouted. But this one is really just for interior. So in the last section, I showed you how Julie Williams did the house with just adding gray. So what I've done here, just to start really quickly, is I took white and black acrylic paint, and that's these here. This is a very high-end paint. You do not need to buy the highest-end paints. I just happen to have these in the studio, and this is what I used. You're going to add water to it, which I'll show you in a minute. But I just wanted to show you that gray is really easy to make with some white and black paint and the water, and then you can darken it or lighten it depending on what you're trying to create with your mosaic. So this is the gray. I did a little swipe here. We'll get back to more of that in a second. But uh, this is usually the most popular uh, color to make like Julie did in hers because she just wanted to darken her grout because she wasn't happy with how it turned out. So as you can see here, I have uh, made a mosaic with white grout. And I did that specifically so that you can really see the changes happening when we do it. And I've got my little empty dishes here, and this is my water. So what I'm gonna do here, this is called quinacridone magenta, and I'm gonna use this in place of, let's say, a red. And you don't need a lot. This stuff is very, very highly saturating. And since we're only doing a very small section, we're going to, um, 
we're going to add water to it. We just got to get it to the bottom of the dish. And then maybe just, whoop, that might be a little too much. And we're just going to tint the water. Let's see if I can get a little more in there just so that we're wasting it, but it's more for the effect. There we go. That you can see it has to have water. You don't want to take direct paint to your uh, grout because it needs that soaking in. And you don't want a ton of water either. You really want to kind of create like almost a milky sort of uh, texture. All right, so using my paintbrush, mix it up a little better that way. Get some, get your edges, get everything. And this is really, really potent. Just make sure it's really evenly dispersed on your brush. And I always recommend you do a sample board, which this kind of is because I did not have uh, any pieces in my studio or time to make something as elaborate as what Julie had made. So I figured this is another great way to show you. So just very simply, you're going to paint the grout. And you can go as dark or as light as you want. And you go right over the glass. And it's great because now look at all this contrast I'm adding to my piece. So once I've done an area that I like, I just take a wipe. This is just a baby wipe and you're going to wipe off. And now you can start to see, I mean, this is not, uh, I'm not doing this very um, technically as far as like how far do we want it to go. We can go down. You can be as sloppy as I'm being on the glass. It just depends how far you want the grout to go. And if you're being really specific, you can tape off your grout. I mean, tape off your mosaic and your grout so that it doesn't go too far. Like if you didn't want it to go past this like two inch area or three inch area. So if we were to say that this was as far as we wanted to go, get down this line here. And again, like I said, you can go much, so it's starting to lose a little bit of its saturation here and you want it there. We just added more, get in there. But see how nicely it's just soaking into the grout and you have a really nice continuity with this. So now I can wipe it off. And if I see spots that I don't think are dark enough, then I can come in. Here's a spot that didn't get enough. So dry your brush off. You don't want to bring extra water into this if you don't have to. Boom. Add a little more. Just really check your piece. Make sure. Okay, now I got into this one. So because this is a sample, we're just going to go with it. All right, so that is your magenta. And just look at the difference, how much fun that adds to your piece. So this can totally be a great way to make mosaics and add a little more uh, texture, dimension, all those fun things. All right, next let's do blue. Let's put blue against the pink. Um, yeah, let's try that. Again, like I said, I'm kind of over doing it with my materials, but that's okay. And I think what I'm going to use is my brush, wiping my brush off to do my mixing. Now this one's a little more potent. This is a little less water, a little more potent. All right, let's see here. Maybe a little more water. It's pretty thick. There we go. You'll sort of get the hang of it as far as consistency. Just don't have big chunks of paint in your brush. That's really important. All right, I think we got this and we're just gonna bring it down. Oh, look how pretty. And it might blend in a little bit with the pink. That's okay. Again, sample piece. If you guys are doing this on something that's really important, you wanna practice a little bit on uh, a, a sample board so that you don't mess up your hard work. This cannot go backwards. Let's talk about that. Once you've painted, this is not something that can be erased. Here it is seeping. That's something to consider when you're creating. Maybe you do need the tape and you wanna be really specific. So again, I'm being sloppy. 
because I just have this sample board here, but it's super fun. And I'm just going to wipe now. And let's see what we've got. You got some beautiful blue color. It still needs a little bit of love. That's okay. We'll just dry off my brush, get some of the extra water out. Look how pretty my brush is getting. Here we go. Add that. Get some in there. Check your grout areas. And again, this was done with thin set. I don't think I have any thin set poking through, but it could happen. So you can see here where they just met each other. It's kind of great. Here it blended a little bit and here it just met and here they just met. And it's just got a really nice blend effect to it. Wipe it off. This is thin set. So think about that. That is something that I can't really fix right now. Thinset does not accept it. It has the polymer additive in it. It's like a glue. So it's in my instincts to want to clean that out. Let's hope I'm right about that. Let's put a tiny bit more paint there and see if that fixed the problem. Yes. So that picked it up. It's still a little lighter. So think about that when you're working too, is that what's going to happen with these darker paints against these, um, again, uh, you know, these darker paints against something like the thin set. Okay, so here, but do you see how beautiful the white is picking it up? So this is something you can plan for as you are making your mosaic. You're like, oh, I want to do multicolor painting on my grout. So I'll just grout the whole thing white and then I'll add... Uh, then I'll add, uh oh, this had a little too much blue in it. But again, like I said, get t different brushes out if you're going to be very specific about this. I am not. I'm kind of just giving you guys this demo to show you possibilities of painting with grout. Painting on grout. All right, this looks like pretty thin and good. All right, so here goes our yellow. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Wow. Great. Just really get in there, saturate that grout. We'll just go halfway because then we can use a little green as our last one. And then I have my little sample of gray here that I'll make sure you guys see really well. Okay, so now we're going to try and find a clean part of my wipe so I don't get too much pink going. Let's see if that works. Yep. Oh my gosh, how fun, right? It's great. So again, a little blending here, a little blending here, depends if that's what you want. Again, that's thin set sticking out. So be careful, you can use other adhesives. Just giving it another coat. There's a little green down here because there was blue tint. Now me being so sloppy, just did this but it didn't really affect it. That pink, you know, you can't tell too much that yellow got on top of it. All right, we have one more color to do. That's our green. And again, like I said, hit your craft stores. You don't have to hit, you know, golden, which is an amazing, if you, unless you're into acrylic paints, because these are some of the best. Um, we use these for our Create Arts Online uh, courses and our artists from there. So look, I got my brush really clean this time, which is great. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna get this all saturated, make sure it's spread out really good. I think mixing with the brush is key because otherwise using a stick or something like that really can't mix it up as well. So consider using just, if you want to use a different brush and, you know, be really specific about your brushes, the size of them, um, the quality of them, if that's important to you. This is something you can take to like a whole new level. This has a little bit of junk on it. So I'm just gonna make sure it's pretty even. That's what you really want to look for is that even. Let's see, oh yeah. Beautiful. Uh-oh, I just went over my gray. Well, let's see what happens there. We'll wipe that off in a second. We're gonna come down the edge here. All right, so now you have some green. And we'll take 
or wipe here. And now you have green. So obviously there is so much experimentation you can do with this technique and how much that changed from the white piece we had before to what we have now. And really quickly, before I let you go to go paint your grouts, is we'll get back to this gray right here because I just wanted to show you. This is just white with just a touch of black in it. And if you need, and you can go more black if you want to darken it even more. In fact, let's do that while we're here. And I mean a very, very light touch of black. And let's see what here, what I would do. I don't know if they teach this in art school, but I'm darkening it. Let's see if it even worked. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I see the black. See, it's in the brush, but hold on. Let's give it a little bit more and see what happens. It's maybe one of the longest sections at Mosaic Arts Online, but hey, hopefully you guys are learning something. I'm going to add a titch more water just to get that black moving. All right, it looks a little darker to me. So what we're gonna do is just show you a little tighten up on here so you can see when I do the gray, and you can see there's a little gray left here because I barely went over it with the green. So let's go over it with the gray. And let's do this part here where there's just a little bit of white grout left. There you go. So this is really what Julie did in the piece I showed you in the beginning of this demo. And we're going to use what little we have left on our, just try and keep your wipes as clean as possible to give it a wipe. And now you can see there's gray there. And I went over the green, so the green's coming through a little bit there, but here you can see all the gray and all the other colors. So what we've learned here is that you, if you have thin set or any of your adhesive coming through, you are going to have issues. So think about that when you are doing your piece, if you plan to paint it, really clean it out before you, and make sure the grout goes everywhere. Here's thin set. Here's some thin set that would have to be cleaned. And um, it's an, on a little bit of the glass, but mostly my thin set was below the level of the glass, so we didn't have any issues there. And then on this side, I didn't really get into it, so just for the sake of wanting to demonstrate for you guys, we're gonna just go gray along the edge here because that might be where you guys go the most, is if you do something too light or you wanna change it, or if you made flowers and you wanna darken your grout because it just, and this can also work on pigmented grout. So if you made a piece and it's with pigment grout, but you're not happy with it and you wanna darken it or change it, as long as you haven't sealed it, it still will work. So make sure you're really happy with your grout colors. And if not, this is just another option for um, creating, like I said, more depth, dimension, um, vibrancy. And, you know, we all know that our grout pop, our pieces pop based on the color of the grout. And so if you want to do something that's got variety or change to it, this is one way to do it. So go off and make yourself some really cool painted grout pieces.